Hey guys, I'm a conventional medical doctor who actually quit my regular job and made mold, biotoxin illness, and water damage buildings my specialty because I feel like it gets to the root cause of so many things that we don't know why we have an etiology or reason for them, like asthma, like things like autoimmunity, things like Hashimoto's, Graves disease, even sarcoidosis have links to mold, liver cancer, and even estrogen dominances have links to mold. Now, why is mold such a problem? It's part of a big ecosystem in our environment, but modern day building techniques have made our environment pretty toxic. About 40% of buildings have current water damage and 85% of buildings have previous water damage. And the problem is that 20 to 25% of the population has a genetic variation called HLA-DR, which makes them sensitive to the mold growth that can happen in 24 to 48 hours if there is water damage that occurs at a house. Therefore, there are a lot of people that are sick due to their home and their modern day construction building. So what do we do here? Here's some warning signs for you guys. If your house has a flat roof, guess where the water is going to go if and when there's a leak. Also, we use wood that is exposed to the environment. If it rains, does that wood ever dry? We also use toxic building adhesives, paints, different um flooring techniques and everything, varnishes that really damage our DNA because they are volatile organic compounds, things like formaldehyde, benzene, things like that. So not only that, <laughs> there's more. Um, if that that asbestos or the drywall, which ironically, if it gets wet, never dries, if that gets wet, it ac actually attracts certain species of mold, such as stacky boy trees or black toxic mold, which again can lead to cancer, autoimmunity, and chronic long-term conditions like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and these mystery disorders that no one has a reason for. I'm telling you guys some of the reasons here. If you feel better when you leave your house, you feel worse on rainy days, you know your house has had water damage in the past, please, please, please investigate what is going on because there could be answers that are linked as simply to your environment and your home where you spend 90% of your time. The air can be just as toxic, if not more, than outside. Be sure to be aware of your environment and know that your body is not just broken. There are reasons that people can be chronically ill, you guys.